Ladies and gentlemen, Candace Owens said she would rather go to that burning lake of fire than take the scene. <laughs> I said it. She didn't say it that way, but you got the picture. So, you know, she's still toe up over that Trump interview. All right. So, you know, after her interview with Donald Trump, we know she was highly critical of him all of a sudden because he was for the Jap scene. So, um, but there have been reoccurring questions about the sincerity of her position. Part of this stems from a photo of Owens that was taken at UFC event at Madison Square Garden months ago at which the pun, uh, you know, she was pursuant to the New York City law that all attendees 12 and up were required to show proof, you know, show your papers. So she then outlined a full extent of her opposition which is so blind, blindingly steadfast that she claimed she would refuse even if she was on her deathbed. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Candace, don't speak your judgment into the universe, okay? Candace went on to urge her audience to ignore Madison Square Garden's website which says uh, it, on their FAQ page that each guest have to show proof at that door, otherwise they can't get in. Instead, she directed them to the New York City Law website, insisting that it provides carve-outs for those who are like her, unjapsinated. But that's not the case. City law states that for indoor public activities, especially even, um, you know, sporting events, people 12 and older participating in the below public indoor activities are required to show proof. So that's what you have to do if you are in um, New York and you have to show proof that you got at least two Jap scenes. Mm -mm -mm. So Owens has been loudly promoting her, you know, her view, her stance, which we know she's against it ever since she did her uh, interview with Trump. Yeah, she's still toe up about that. <laughs> That did not turn out the way she thought. She thought, I guess, Trump was going to jump aboard based on how he was when he was still in the White House. And he went in the other direction. In fact, some of his supporters were upset with him for taking that stand during that interview. Okay. So since Owens has engaged uh, in a furious Twitter fight, suggesting Trump is too old <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to look up alternatives, uh, information online, and promote a quack drug that turns people's skin blue, which they're talking about her promoting, um, you know, the silver, colloidal silver. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. So mm -mm -mm. she said she would rather burn in that lake of fire than take that than take the jab scene. Oh, she can't just she don't know. I think she spoke her judgment out in that moment. What do y'all think? I think she did. You know? But I don't think she's going to get any more interviews with Trump, especially the way she responded after the interview, getting on Twitter, talking about he's too old and he doesn't know technology and he does no research. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. If somebody got online and said that about you, would you go back and interview with them again? 
I think that might be her final Trump interview in her career. I don't think she's getting any more. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.